from a place we're not allowed to reveal. It's the Tom Likas Show. All right, yeah, that's pretty cool. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues with you. care about it's a different kind of radio talk program we're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted felon no I am your host write down our telephone number you're going to need it it's 1-800-5-800-TOM one 800 5-8-0-8-6-6. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. This story is so outrageous, it seems there's only one side of the story. I don't even I don't even know how you make a talk show out of this topic. I gotta be honest, there are some times when a news story appears to be perfect for our show. Until you think to yourself, can, can there be another side? A good radio talk show has to have a minimum of two points of view. Yes or no. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Good or bad. Important, unimportant. Stupid, smart. You have to have what we call dramatic tension. I mean... If I do an hour of the program where everybody calls up and says, you're absolutely right, Tom. Everything you say is right. You're absolutely right. It's not much of a show. So I have avoided this story now for days. And people keep sending it to me. Every day I'm getting more copies of this story. So against my better judgment, I'm going to read the story on the air. And then I'm going to get your reaction to it. I am guessing, I'd even bet, that every single caller will say the same thing. And then this will have been a stupid exercise. I will have been stupid to do this. And I know other radio programs have talked about it. But that's because they don't know as much about doing a radio show as I do. I've been doing this a long time. And I believe the most successful radio talk shows are the ones that are full of opinions. Lots of different ones. People agreeing and disagreeing. Yelling and screaming. I don't see that here. How can anyone disagree with me on this? This story is from the Associated Press. It was said to be by easily a hundred different listeners. The headline on the story says, Single mom selling Florida home, comma, heart online. And the subheadline says, Real estate ad offers buyer opportunity to marry, quote, Princess lost in America. Dayline Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. She's tried nightclubs, online dating sites. But now a 42-year-old single mother is looking for love where everyone else's heart is breaking. The real estate market. After a year of trying to sell her four-bedroom home and eight years of singledom, singledom, Devin Trabosh is offering her South Florida home and a shot at marrying her on the Internet. Trabosh, who teeters around the nearly 2,000 square foot house in patent leather heels, said, I figured, let's combine the ad, because I'm looking for love and I'm looking to sell the house. 
Marry a prince. <laughs> How many opinions can there be on this? Marry a princess lost in America, Trabosh wrote in the ad she posted on eBay and Craigslist last week. She describes a life of romance and travel and a home decorated with vaulted ceilings, upgraded tile, and a soaking tub in a gated community with a pool and tennis courts. Trabosh, a licensed real estate agent who hasn't practiced in years, knew she would struggle to, ha- to sell the home in the troubled real estate market. But it's this her fairy tale ad isn't just a sales gimmick. I'm struggling. I don't want to lose my house, and I want to find someone, said Trabosh. Who, note this, Trabosh, who changed her name in the ad to Trabasha, to keep people from finding her in the phone book. Well, that's good. I'm glad she kept that a secret. God forbid someone wanted to look up Devin Trabosh, spelled T-R-A-B-O-S-H, in the phone book. And, um... My God, now we know she's listed in the phone book. How do we find that out? She told us. Don't you think that that's what she was looking for? So she's in West Palm Beach, Florida, or Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. And she tells the Associated Press that her name is Trabash, not Trabasha. To keep people from finding her in the phone book. Well... Well, I sure won't look there. She said, I came up with this dream plan because I've always dreamt about being a fairy tale princess. Really? Says here she listed the home. Get this. She listed the home for $340,000 on a sell it yourself website. But up the price. Adding, get this. A $500,000 shipping fee to include her companionship on eBay. That's right. It's a shipping fee. That's what Heidi Fleiss used to do. She worked for UPS, right? She used to charge shipping fees to people. (laughs) Right? Says here, Trabosh. By the way, don't look her name up in the phone book. That's why she's calling herself Trabasha. Because she's afraid you'd look up Devin Trabosh in the phone book for Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. She's afraid you'd find her in there. Yeah. Says here she, uh, she placed the ad and eBay removed it. Though she planned to change the wording and repost it. Under the site's, this is eBay's prohibited services policy, eBay does not allow the sale of human beings, body parts, or relationships, according to spokeswoman Catherine England. Trabosh hasn't received any serious offers. Who would, by the way, who would pay half a million dollars to have a an over-the-hill real estate agent shipped to them? And her two needy daughters. And to have to buy her house, which has been decorated by, guess who? One Devin Trabosh, who doesn't want to be found in the phone book there in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. That's why she told the Associated Press that she changed her name to Trabasha, so nobody would look it up. She hasn't received any serious offers, but says she's had nearly 500 responses, mostly positive, including one from somebody named Adi in Surrey, England, who emailed to say, you are offering the perfect life with the perfect American princess. Oh, oh, Adi. Adi, you just haven't been here. Yes, yes, an over-the-hill female who thinks she's a princess from a fairy tale. Eh. (laughs) You should only uh, get that prize, Adi. Send in your half-million-dollar shipping fee, and she's all yours. Says here she whips out her laptop to show off a picture of Claudia, a handsome Italian wine and cheese taster who she's been corresponding with since he responded to the ad. By the way, I've been to Italy Claudio makes about 30 euros a week. (laughs) A wine and cheese taster. I'm a wine and cheese taster, too. Says here, seated. This, by the way, here's the furniture you'll be getting in this home you'll be buying. Seated on a white leather love seat in her living room. (laughs) 
She giggles almost girlishly about him. They're hoping to meet in Miami in a few weeks. Yeah. He's going to ask to uh, test drive the uh, test drive the merchandise. That would be my guess. Says here she's gotten criticism too. Her 21 year old daughter Haley says she just wants her mom to find love. That's a great way to find love. Tell people that you can have her heart for five hundred thousand dollars. I love you. Just give me five hundred thousand dollars. Her 14-year-old daughter, who sounds much more sensible, says her mother is embarrassing her. I'd be embarrassed, too. Says here, others have emailed her to say she's selling herself short. Sure, raise the fee to a million. What are you doing? Trabosh says, by the way, her real name is Trabosh, but she didn't want people to find her in the phone book. I'm not selling myself. I'm selling love. To meet that true love. Why didn't you just say you're looking for love? Why did you have to add a $500,000 shipping fee? Mm -hmm. She said, of course, it's going to take more chemistry and connection. It's not going to be instantaneous that I'm just going to automatically be for sale. It's a package deal for true love. So not only do you have to send her $500,000, but you'd better be perfect for her, bucko. Or someone else is going to win her heart for the $500,000 they have to pay to get it. Says here, Trabash isn't the first to use the Internet to hawk the unconventional. A heartbroken Australian man recently tried to sell his life online, including his house, job, and friends. Others have sold body space, promising to display advertisements for the highest bidder. There is a plethora of quirky ads on Craigslist that pop up on Craigslist every day, and this appears to be one of them, spokeswoman Susan McTavish Best said in an email. Scads of couples have met and thus married through Craigslist over the last 12 years, Somebody sometimes marrying the person who bought their tired couch. Ideally, Unbelievable. I'm just reading this. It's, it's like ridiculous. Ideally, Trabosh hopes a European man will close the deal and says she's willing to move overseas. She says, I know I'm putting myself out there. I'm sincere. I believe in true love. I want to get married again. So that's the story where I said there can only be one opinion. There can only be one opinion about this. She listed her home in South Florida for $340,000, but now she's up the price, adding a $500,000 shipping fee to include her companionship. So you get not only the house, but the person who lives in it. But that's not prostitution or anything like that, is it? Now, we will see. My prediction is that I will sit here for about the next uh, 40 minutes and I'm going to hear from nothing but people who say that she's a bitch, she's a whore, she's a skank. Uh, what does she think she is? And then if you look at her photo online, there are several photos of her online. You'll certainly have other opinions about her. And we'll certainly hear them. But is there anybody out there who thinks this is a good idea? My guess, every single caller will have the same opinion. Let's find out right now. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's only appropriate to give her a compliment if you could give the same compliment to a man. But, wow, that's the fastest I've ever seen anybody change the tire. Or something. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it has to be a generic situation. If you give them, wow, you look great today, what they heard is, hey, he's buying me a wedding ring. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. So we're talking about the single mother in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. Yes, you can buy her house, and for an extra half million dollars, you can have her heart. Or whatever body part she's selling, I'm not really sure. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Mark on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. 
Hello, Papa Tom. How, How are you doing, doing, Mark? Mark. Do you care, Mark? Oh, yeah, I do. I do. I'm doing hey, great. Uh, tell me what you think of my idea. I think uh, this lady is brilliant uh, in the sense that uh, as ugly, as fugly as she is, uh, this is tax evasion because, you know, she's selling her house on the market a lot less than what it's worth, but then, you know, she sells herself for 500 grand, takes a trip over to Europe, pays 2000 bucks for the trip, and then on the way back, you know, leaves the guy, and she, she pockets 500000 I'll tell you what, if I'm paying half a million dollars, I want her 18-year-old daughter. I don't want her. <laughs> well, there's, it benefits both parts. You know, the, the buyer pays... I think, I'm gonna make, I think I'm going to make an offer. I'm going to offer 600000 but she has to throw in her daughter. <laughs> All right, Tom, that was it. I thought I'd throw in my two, two cents. In fact, you know what? I'll, I'll buy them as a baggage deal, and then I'll uh, give her her freedom. She can go. <laughs> That's right. Get her the hell out. Absolutely. By the way, the daughter is not embarrassed about this at all. Oh, nice. All right. So obviously uh, she approves, and if she approves, uh, then maybe uh, she's available for the right price too. Yeah, two for one package deal. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> then I can get that mother-daughter experience I've always dreamed of. Oh, tell me about it. Right. All right, take me out. Old school. Old school. There you go. 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Dave. Dave is listening to our online stream in San Diego on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Dave. Hey, I'm trying to play a devil's advocate as much as I can on this topic, just to make the hour a little more interesting. But I, 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 when I first heard, you know, the first part of the story, you know, I thought this might be an opportunity for, you know, some poindexter, some guy that has no game and can't get laid anyway. But once you brought up the uh, the five hundred thousand dollars, it's like I, I couldn't even imagine wishing that kind of pain on even poindexter. So. Paying five hundred thousand dollars to get this? I uh, know. It's. A, I mean, who does this woman think she is? Uh, well, clearly, uh, you know what's interesting about it? She's had no takers. <laughs> I mean, maybe if she gave it up without the five hundred thousand, she might get some takers. But you know. I think, yeah, I think she needs to. Uh, ju you know, she's a real estate salesperson. Uh, obviously, when you've had no takers, you need to lower the uh, the asking price. Exactly. Down to zero, if not throw in some cash. <laughs> That's exactly right. Maybe get her a, get him a bridge loan or something. Yeah, there you go. Outrageous. I know. Yeah, have you seen, by the way, have you seen the photos of this woman? They're all over the Internet. No, I haven't yet, but you know what? As soon as I get off the phone, I'm going to be uh, digging around for them on the yes. Internet. By the way, she does not want you looking her up in the phone book, so she did not want you to know that her real name is Trabosh. Oh, yeah, of course not. You know, you don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know she's sitting there all night long waiting for the phone to ring. <laughs> yeah, just ha sitting by the phone, tapping her fingers, you know. Yeah, you know, if I say I don't want people looking me up in the phone book, maybe they all will. Yeah, <laughs> reverse psychology there. Oh, boy. All right, well, Tom, that's all I got. Uh, can you take me out taser style? Taser style? I certainly can, Dave. What did I do? Get off me. Get off my husband. Get the f off me, man. I didn't do anything. Don't tase me, bro. Don't tase me. I didn't do anything. Ow! 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 Gets me every time. Every time. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here's Alan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? How you doing? I'm all right. No, I'm not one of those. I just want to know how you were doing. I'm just checking. <laughs> hey, Tom, my question is, is this half mil, is that like pre-vagina money payment, or is it like payment for the prenup and that's it? I'm not quite sure. Can you can you shed a little light on that? It sounds to me like a like a dowry. Yeah, you're probably right. You're absolutely right. I just thought, how ridiculous is that? And let you know, I, I mean, I don't think anybody would go through and pay say that at all. Well, anyway. you know what I would like to do? I'd like to buy the house, pay the shipping fee, and then evict her and her two daughters. Just evict them, toss herself out in the street, then bring in a hot chick. 
Hey, sounds good to me. <laughs> hey, Tom, can you take me? And like I say, for, I'll throw an extra hundred thousand dollars. The daughter can uh, can apply for the gig. I'll apply for the. <laughs> I love it, Tom. She's 18. She's legal in Florida. That's right. Well, you know, but then you could all, you know, you know, you got a place to go when you're in Florida. Hey, that works. That's out exactly great. right. That's great. That's right. Tom, Tom, you're awesome, man. Can you take me out Kobe style? I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. You're a beast in my heart. Oh. You're there, I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. We're talking about the woman in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, the single mother who first tried to sell her home in the Palm Beach area online. And now for an extra $500,000 shipping fee, you can also get her heart. I mean, she went on Match.com and offered her heart for free, and nobody wanted it. <laughs> so now she's going to try selling it for half a million dollars. No wonder she's not a real estate salesman anymore. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Mark on the Tom Like His Show. Hello, Mark. Hey, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. Fantastic. I've got a plan, Tom. I think you should send me in as the Tom Like His, the insider and I'll go over there, and I'll be like a cheese cheese farmer, you know, one of these debonair guys, and whisper off her feet, and then I'll report back to you every day and let you know how things are going. I love sex. Tell her you, do, you tell her you do not buy a vehicle without test driving it first. Uh, you know what? I'll take it around the block again, Tom, just to see how it goes, and then I can report back to your show how things are going. Like a tell her, report. tell her you only drive stick. <laughs> And, uh, eat, Tom. <laughs> It'll be like Survivor. You send me in, and you can see how long I'll survive. I mean, I'm amazed more guys aren't like trying to trying to uh, jerk her chain here. You know, I are you kidding me? Put on an Italian accent, tell her you're going to be in the Miami area, and then uh, nail her, and then never call her back. Well, I'm not online. I, I'm not in front of a computer, Tom. Is she halfway decent looking? Um, well, put it this way: I, I think uh, she's um, a butterface. Well, I could deal with that. We'll just, you know, have her turn to the side or, or something, you know, to get you her just, out of the way. No, here's what you do. You just bring yourself a brown bag. <laughs> like when the like when the New Orleans Saints were losing real bad. Exact. Cut bag. a couple of holes out and then get a room with very low lighting. Tom, send me in there. I'll be your man. I'll report Come on. daily. Step right in. Tell get her, you, well, yeah, you got the money, but first you want to see what you're getting. Well, you know, I can play the game for a little while, and then, you know, DTB, or like I said, I'll keep in touch with you. Uh, Dean can uh, can tell you uh, how to pass for an Italian. Uh, tell him your name is Giuseppe with a J. I'll get a little black dye in my hair, get some of those colored contacts, bring a bottle of wine. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll do it, Tom. Dean will get you uh, an olive oil scalp rub there. You'll be all set. <laughs> You're killing me, Tom. Take me out, Tom. Old school. I love you. All right, baby, here you go. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here comes Alex on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's poppin', Pop? Uh, the, somebody's ass coming up in about uh, 40 minutes here. Isn't it always? <laughs> well, anyways, uh, what you call the, uh, yeah, this is just another perfect example of how worthless women are. I mean, this is the only way that they could come up. I mean, first you got that intern that wants to sue for whatever, and then you got this lazy bum sitting around the house trying to sell her ass for a couple hundred thousand. Isn't, never, by, the way, by, the by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, isn't this great, a great example, except for your two teenage daughters selling oh. yourself for half a million dollars on the Internet? Well, you know, I'll give them 500000 but not dollars. I'll give them pencils. That's probably what I'll give her for that. You know who I'd like to meet? I'd like to meet the ex-husband. And, All right. And, and find out if this piece of ass is really worth half a million dollars. He's probably buried in the backyard or something. Well, put it this way. You know, haven't you ever bought a car and wish you could talk to the original owner? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, we ought to find out what the original owner said about this vehicle. Yeah. I have a feeling... You know, by the way, before I'd pay 500000 for that, I think I'd run it through Carfax. 
Hey, hey, Tom, didn't you say that one one guy was named uh, Ali something that, that, that responded to her uh, ad? Ali something? Uh, let me see. The, uh, that was the guy from Australia, and his name was Ottie. Oh, I, I, thought, it, I thought it was like Ali. I, I was like, man, she probably... You know, she's probably getting hit by a terrorist or something, you know? No, no, Adi, O-T-T-I-E. <laughs> Trying to trick her up, be like, yeah, 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 I love you, this and that, and he'd be coming up in here. Yes, you're offering the perfect life with the perfect American princess. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, Tom, could you take me on Friday night style? What would that be? That's uh, two lines of meth, an orgasm, followed by a beer. I'll see what we have here. <laughs> Oh, oh, God, oh, yes, yes, yes. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM, 1-800-5800-866. My curriculum vitae is as follows. I'm a cunning linguist and a master debater. I'm also, uh, I'm an amateur gynecologist. I've got Russian hands and Roman fingers, and on top of that, I also am the one and only state board-certified interpreter who can interpret women into English. Oh, okay. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. I want 800 800 tom That is your telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. We're talking about the woman from Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, the single mother, former real estate salesperson who was selling her house, and then she decided to up the ante by... Uh, Say for an extra five hundred thousand dollars shipping fee, you can also have her companionship. Whatever that means. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Kate on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Hi. Does she literally say in her ad that she's giving away her heart? She said her companionship. Oh, I thought she said heart, because that could be really bad if a particularly litigious person wanted to respond to that ad. Um, because, you know, organs are for sale often. Not legitimately, but they are. Well, you know, I mean, even if you were litigious, uh, the word heart has more than one meaning. That 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 is true. And may I just say you truly are an amazing, intelligent man. Why, thank you so much. You're welcome. I don't always agree with what you say, but your ability to debate and to make a very uninteresting topic very interesting is why I listen. Well, even this topic. I mean, can you imagine anybody disagreeing with me? No, I can't. This is this is just, you can just imagine like that lady from... Uh, something about mary that's what i picture what i picture this woman who, yeah, who would uh, pay for that well her photo is on the internet i mean it's everywhere everywhere oh my gosh oh you my can gosh. see her you can get a look but you know what i i'm in that business i'm in that industry and let me just tell you that <laughs> those people it just takes all kinds oh yes and i can only imagine what kinds it takes in the east coast Oh, my. Yeah, she'd like to be swept off her feet by some sucker in Europe. Ugh. My hope is that right. uh, some guy with a European accent contacts her and she lets him sweep her off uh, the, her feet. And then she gets to Europe and the guy's like a complete loser. Oh, yes. that Yeah. Ugh. I don't even know how anybody can take that accent. I mean, uh, even if she was the hottest thing on earth, I don't know how people can take that East Coast accent. It, uh, of, now, that I don't know. Women she's, have. The, well, the, she it, is from Florida. I don't know if she has an East Coast accent or where her original uh, location is. Was she born in Florida or somewhere along the East Coast? I don't know. It seems like they adapt it, though. I don't know. Are those women on the East Coast, though, the gum snapping, sassy, chunky chicks? Who they think all, they're all that? 
I mean, I how hate did them. you even how did you even live there? They all sound so ignorant. I got out as dirt. fast as I could. Are you kidding me? At twenty five oh. I, I skedaddled. I was done. I'm so grateful for being born and raised in LA. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, believe me. I wish I had been born and raised in L.A. I feel like I was born and raised in L.A. I've lived here twenty years now. Yeah, well, me a little slightly bit longer, but <laughs> only because I was born here. There we go. Have a great day. Thank you, Kate. Appreciate the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. We're talking about this woman. I consider her to be a skank. I consider her to be a whore. I consider her to be the worst of the worst. Selling her companionship along with her home. Yes, her home is $340,000, but you can uh, get her companionship for an additional $500,000. I mean, that's the thing. There's no dramatic tension to this topic. Everybody agrees. Every single caller agrees with me. Everybody thinks I'm brilliant. Everybody thinks that everything I say is right. I told you, that's that's not a talk show. I need people who disagree. I need people who hate me for it. I need people who completely, completely see her side. But you're not going to find any. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here comes Eddie on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Eddie? Hi, Father. Son, how are you? I'm very good. How about yourself? I'm doing great, Eddie. I was going to notice that uh, she is the whore attention. That's what I think. She cannot find a day during Florida, and she's trying to get it in Europe. Well, my opinion is that she's not only an attention whore, she's a whore. She's just a <laughs> flat-out whore. I'm 100% agree with you. Would you blow me up with the old school, please? I'll blow you up, old school, Eddie. Here you go. Wow. <laughs> 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number here. By the way, Vicky sent an email. And her email says, love you and hate you, too. You are always thought-provoking, if somewhat biased. And may I mention arrogant? Well, all are true. Of course I'm biased. This isn't the CBS Evening News with perky little low-rated Katie Couric. No, no. No, I have an opinion. The show has a point of view. For God's sake. Vicky says, I believe most of your listeners are very young and quite ignorant. Most of the callers that actually get through your fluffer... Incidentally, he's quite rude. Are the ethnic ones, oh, see, here we go, the ethnic ones, heavy accents. Yes. And, of course, they're quite ignorant, those people with the accents. Jesus. She says, perhaps I'm an unusual listener. Older white female. Oh, yeah. Yeah, women like you usually listen to KFI. I've seen the ratings. How did you stumble across this show, lady? She says, keep on, though, Tom. It's a service to the young people of our country. It's just country in quotes. Whatever that's supposed to be. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Here's Tom on the Tom Liga Show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Dad? Hey, I'm doing great, son. Excellent. You know what? The only reason why I have to disagree with you is because you taught all of us guys out there to take the woman to the bank. If she's willing to go ahead and give up everything that she's ever worked on, dude, you know what? Take her to the bank. I'll be like, you know what? Yes, well, I wait a minute. She, time and do whatever I need to do. She doesn't have anything. She's well, trying to get you to pay her half a million dollars. Oh, well, actually, I thought she did have everything, and she was willing to give up everything for that. No, 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 no. Oh. She, she's a former real estate salesperson. Okay. Who was selling her home for $340,000 on the internet. At the same time, she was running ads on like dating websites, like match.com, presumably. Mm hmm. 
and not getting a great response. Ah, see, I didn't go into those researches and all that stuff. I just thought that she was, you know, she did pretty good real estate wise. She's got something in the bank. Oh no, now she's willing for some Joe Schmo to call up and say, "Hey, you know what? I love you a long time for five dollar, and I just take you forever." And no, no, that, I'll, I'll pay five dollars to take her to the bank. Oh no, ah, um, I'm sorry, a- Father. I misunderstood then. She should have listed herself on eBay and started the bidding at one dollar. Well, that's right. Actually, I always started at fifty, and then worked my way up in increments to the one dollar, one fifty-two, and all that stuff. So, so that's totally my bad. I thought she was willing to give up everything that she worked on, and if she had money in the bank, I'd be like, "Ching, uh, you know what? I'd be glad to meet you. Have a good time." Really? Well, again, Absolutely. that's that's not what she's doing. She offered the house for three hundred and forty thousand, and then she did what everybody does when they can't give something away. She decided to raise the price to five hundred thousand dollars. Oh, God. Isn't that just like a woman? Yes. Well, I couldn't give this away on Match.com, so for a shipping fee of $500,000, I'm yours. Well, shipping and handling. So shipping is a little bit lesser than the handling because the handling has got to be like a million, I'd say. Oh, I won't charge you anything for the handling. It's the shipping I don't want to pay for. And you're willing to handle. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll give a little handling. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If she's going to pay for the handling fee, you know what? Hey, I'll meet you at 50% half price right now. I do not buy a car unless I can drive it hard over the speed bumps a few times to see how that baby handles. Exactly. The gears might grind a little, but you're going to make it work. And you know what I always do when I'm at the Ferrari or the Maserati dealer? After I bring that car back in, after driving at 160 miles an hour over a few speed bumps... The guy yeah. says, what would it take well, to get you to... on a few speed bumps, but as long as you come down happy, I think everything's going to work out. The guy says, what would it take to get you to buy this car today? And you say, give me a card. I'm going to think about it. <laughs> True. And then you never call him back. That's what somebody should do with her. Well, I think everybody's looking for that blue light special with her. I think that's the problem. Drive her over the speed bumps a few times. You know, take her out to the Tamiami Trail. <laughs> And then tell her, oops, I'm out of gas. Well, it looks like we're going to have to walk. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's a 30-second gas situation, and then she's on her own. That's right. <laughs> Sweet, Father. Well, I appreciate your input on that, and you have a great one. And, uh, you know, how about taking out Kobe style? Here you go, Tom. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. You're a beast in my heart. Oh. You're there, I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Teresa on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, this is Teresa. I just said that. Oh, you did. Okay, I didn't say it on my phone. Hey, I just was listening to you. Whose You're phone did I say it on? I'm sorry. Whose phone did I say it on? No, you probably said it. My phone just goes in and out, so sometimes oh. my phone is kind of jacked up. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you, I listened to your show, and I actually got in, and I'm quite happy. And I have to tell you, what you say is right on. But in terms of this woman, I want to know who, if if there's a father for those kids still living there with that woman. Because he ought to take custody of those kids. No, 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 no. She's divorced. She's been single for years, the story says. Oh, man. So where's the father? Is he not around? Well, you got to wonder. I tell you what, I'd be on the phone to Child Protective Services today. That's that's what I was thinking, because here's some prostitute, because that's what she is, the prostitute. Yeah. And, you know, here's a 14-year-old kid that's going to get stuck in some dysfunctional situation and probably end up getting, you know, buggered with by some weird guy. There they'll be. That li- the happy little family living with Giorgio or Giuseppe or whoever oh in Italy. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. In Italy is no is no ball of wax either. I'll tell you, <laughs> you know the good food, but oh man. Well, but, seen yeah, the Euro, have you seen the euro lately? Five hundred thousand dollars is not going to go very far there. No, not at all. I know it's ridiculous, but you know I'll tell you, you are so funny. I use your lines at work all the time. I love that. It's true. I honest to God, it's so true. You just kill me. You're great. So I just. It's just common sense, you know. I don't get, you know, I tell you, it's, I see it over and over again, what you say. You know? The only so. ones that get upset at me are the fats, the fuglies, and, um, you know, the ones for whom the glass slipper fits a little too well. You know what I'm talking about? Our email address, tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.